Welcome, in this short video we're going to take a look at how to check your network for any suspicious network traffic that could be associated with the slow Laris vulnerability. My name is Darren Delaney from Netford. Now slow Laris is a vulnerability that can affect uh, SMB servers. SMB is server messaging block, typically used for sharing you know, network shares on Windows hosts or sharing printers. And it's a vulnerability that can be used to take a server down. It creates uh, causes a memory usage problem that eventually crashes the server. So there are a few things you need to watch out for. The most critical is any inbound connections to your network from external hosts using the SMB uh, protocol. And that typically runs on port TCP ports 445 or 139. So to do that, you simply use the search bar in Langarni and just type in top and then clients. So you're looking for this top clients report. In the source, if you have it already set up, you select external. If you don't have that set up, you just type in exclamation mark and then whatever subnets you use internally. So let's say 10.0.0 slash 8 comma 192.168 slash 16, for example. Okay, so whatever subnets you use internally, but you need to start it with exclamation mark, which means not. So in my case, I actually have that defined as a variable external. Next thing you want to do here is in the destination port, we're going to review first any activity on 445. Run a report. Okay, so I have an issue. <clears throat> we're detecting it on both our core packet and our flow sensor. We've got connectivity here from an external address, which is registered in Russia. Drill down then to take a look at the connections. And I can see here the servers that, that this host externally is targeting. So I definitely, I need to take action. I need to block any any activity from this host, but probably recommend to just block all inbound activity over 445. Let's take a look at further if you want to take the flows or even if there was files access, you can get that detail. So I, I do have something to do here. I got to patch my firewall. The second thing to review is any scanning. So while the main fear with slow hours is that an external host could take down your servers, it can also um, it could also be triggered by an, a compromised client on your network. So, so machine could bring down a local machine could bring down a local server. So what you want to check for as well is any unusual scanning over these Microsoft ports. So to do that in the search bar, just type in scan and you're looking for this report here, which is net scanners by port. You don't need to use any filters for this. You just run the report. What you're watching out for is any scanning over port 445 or 139. So in my case, I don't I have some scanning going on, but not over those Microsoft ports. So I don't seem to have any machines internally scanning my network. So that looks okay. It's really for me, it's just the one action, which is to, to block the 445 activity on the firewall. Uh, one thing I didn't do, let's just go back and review that, is I didn't check for anything over 139. Let's just quickly check that. It more common port is 445, so I don't have that now 139. If you want to monitor this on, as, on an ongoing basis, you have the option here to actions, save as, and you could call this slow Lars inbound 445. Save that as a customized report. So you could add it to a dashboard and maybe get a right, or daily email showing any activity where an external host has tried to connect over, uh, let's say port 445 or 139. So there are the top two tips for rev to, to review the activity on your network for any suspicious activity associated with this slow Laris vulnerability.